a lot of things have happened to Bloody Valentine over the years. Um, when we started out making the film, we wanted to make a very character-driven horror film with a lot of state-of-the-art special effects. But one of the most important things for us, we jokingly said we're going to make the deer hunter of horror movies. As you might all know, the big myth about Valentine is how it got um, censored to death, actually dying the death of a thousand cuts while we were getting it out. But one of the things they couldn't censor was the character-driven aspect of the story. And I think that's what still resonates with all audiences, that it's real people in real situations. And then, of course, Tarantino came out and said it's his favorite film of the 80s. And he went out and said, it's the deer hunter of horror movies. So we got vindicated <laughs> there. And then we were honored by having a remake done, which again, brought a whole new audience to appreciate the original. And thank you for all the fans and all the, the fan magazines who kept saying the original has got to see it, they got to see it. So thanks for the remake. So George, do you think partying in a coal mine is still fun? <laughs> it wasn't fun then, <laughs> but it was amazing. It was amazing. You know, we had so much fun down there. It was cold. It was dangerous. You know, and it was spooky as hell. But we did have a lot of fun. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for telling us about Blue Valentine and how amazing. Not Blue Valentine, my bloody Valentine. Oh, jeez. Wrong movie. Ramona. 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 Ramona moment, of course. Well, that's all right. Yeah. I like Blue Valentine a lot, actually. Oh, gosh. <laughs> kind of fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a Ramona. Blue Valentine on the brain, right? <laughs>